Now to connect it to the central shaft. That'll hold. be able to make my way down to the chamber from here. be able to make my way down to the chamber from here. Huracan, face to face in a temple built in your honor. trial. I must be closing in on the hidden city. Thank you. 
Mm, impossible. I can't carry any more. Be more careful. Oh, shit! Can't stay here. Right. <laughs> Jonah, I may have found it. The hidden city. I'm going to look for the serpent with a silver eye. All full up. Can't carry any more. Hello? Who's there? Hello? What's your purpose here? 
I'm a researcher. Lara Croft. They'll be back. We must find safety. Bring her. You're not only my son, you're my heir. You must not court unnecessary danger. Had you not been there, would this woman have found us? I'm glad you're safe. If you're not with the cult, how did you find this place? I followed a map from a temple. I was expecting ruins, not you or any of this. The cult. Why did they attack your son? I recognize their insignia. I know them as Trinity. I'm trying to stop them. Stop them from doing what? They're looking for an artifact. Uh, some sort of box connected to a moon goddess. Why do you want it? To steal it? Sell it? No. I just can't let Trinity, the cult, get to it first. They're too dangerous. Why? What have they done to you? They killed my father. Can I show you something? Do you know what this is? This is by Titi. You're already here. By Titi, the hidden city. But what's this eye? That is a place of death and sacrifice. And you think your artifact is there? Yes. No, none who has gone has ever returned. I'd be willing to try. You would risk it simply to stop the cult? Yes. Bring him in. Do you know this man? He's my best friend. Abby. She's fine. Who else is looking for you? There's no one else. I believe we're seeking the same thing. We will bring you to the serpent with the silver eye, but we'll keep your friend here. You won't get very far if you're lying, and he will not be comfortable. You don't need to do that. It's, it's fine. I'll stay. Etsli, get this woman some clothes. Would you? Keep him company. I'll be back as soon as I can. All right. Pretty nice place. Quiet.
as I came near, they suddenly stopped talking. Then they started laughing as if one of them was drunk. He's planning something. Good work. Thank you. Hi. As you can see, secrets don't stay secret for very long by TT. If you were to deviate from the plan, you'd find out quickly. I see that. She's here to help me find something I lost. You don't have to worry about it. Was father a scout when he was my age? He was a hunter. Was he ferocious? He could be. But he was also very kind. Look around if you wish. I will be in the market across the river when you're ready to find the box of Isha. Careful, friend of Unuratu. The Jaguar warriors. Don't get too close to them. They are always watching for rebel activity. And they have no... Careful, friend of Unuratu. The Jaguar warriors. Don't get too close to them. They are always watching for rebel activity. And they have no mercy. I can see you, even if no one else can. Do you believe that major events in life can be traced back to a single moment? I do. Take what's happening now. Had Amaru and Saidi not fought that day during the famine, and had Saidi not insisted, despite Amaru's wishes, that it should be him who would go beyond the safety of the borders to hunt for the village, perhaps things would be different today. You see, Amaru felt responsible for his brother's death. I heard him the night they pulled Sairi's body from the wilderness. He was beside himself with grief. I think that was the moment. It broke Amaru. He took complete control of Paititi after that. He wanted to protect us all because he couldn't protect Saidi. All full up. Can't carry any more. I caught a fish once at home, in the well. Papa says it's because there are tunnels filled with water under some houses. Funny, huh? I can't figure out what this means. Pisco the dead? Pisco the thief is more... Are you okay? No. Pisco the dead took my dice, and no one believes me. But he took them. A dead man took your dice. Are you sure you didn't lose them? Ugh. You're as bad as the rest of them. I'm sorry. You're right. I'll tell you what. I'll pay very close attention, and if I see Pisco the dead, I'll ask for your dice back. Really? You believe me? It won't be the first time the dead seem to speak to me. The people of the Andes have been perfecting the art of weaving for thousands of years. This Chuspas is a wonderful example. 
woven of llama or alpaca hair and traditionally used to carry cocoa leaves, it clearly highlights the weaver's skill. Beautiful. All full up. Can't carry any more. The legend is that the Ring of Seven stand guard over reaches. But I've looked all over the place and I still haven't been able to find them. It doesn't make any sense. Why go to the trouble of making up a riddle? and then not having it pay off. All full up. Can't carry any more. I'm not sure. The dialect is familiar, but something's not right. Are you Pisco the dead? You can see me? At last, Pisco is seen. Are you also dead, Ishiki? No. So you are Pisco the dead? I am Pisco, servant of the gods. I'm Lara. Lara. Nice name, Lara. You are not dead. Neither are you. Oh, but I am. As a child, I was to be sacrificed. I was brought to the mountain. The ritual was completed, but... But you survived. Only my body. I am dead to all my friends and family. I live by the offerings that are left for me. I met a boy who says Pisco stole his dice. Taki? He's the son of a very arrogant noble. He insisted we play a game. He lost. I don't have many things, but I won those dice fair and square. If you want, I'll play you for them. Do you want to play a game? What's the game? Talk to five people who have been cast out. Hear their wisdom and tell me why Taki lost, and I'll give you the dice. I can do that. Holy is said to be one of the oldest games in America, played by all walks of life. Players were known to gamble all of their worldly possessions over a single round, from blankets and precious stones to their homes and even their family's freedom. The god of art and games, Makwal Shoktal, is considered an active participant in the game, responsible with bestowing offerings upon the winner. So much on the line for a simple game. Some things never do change. The outcasts need only an ear to share their stories. Do kids don't authority where you come from, Ishiki? I think it's part of growing up, pushing boundaries. Are they in danger? No. The guards threatened, but when they were young, they threw rocks at guards too. used to play together all the time, but I haven't seen him around a lot lately. I understand why, I think. He has important things to do, important for all of us here. But I miss him. No one could throw a stone farther across the river. Bilawich!
heavy-breasted woman wearing serpents around her waist. This is Kuatli Q, whose name literally means Skirt of Snakes. She's also called Tetio Inan, the mother of the gods. She gave birth to the moon and the stars and had over 400 children, including the sun god, Witsli Apokli, who was also god of war. In addition to being a mother, she's seen as the devourer of all that lives. It's said that she was herself sacrificed to bring about this current age of creation. Cultist, waiting for their deity to appear. When the catastrophes come, the god Kukulkan must be sacrificed to power the sun. Otherwise, the world dies. Sacrifice a god? The sacrifice is my duty. But this cult leader will take my place and attempt to become the god. He believes we can remake the world and live in a paradise of his design. Remake the world? What? I've heard those words before. There he is! I know him. That's Dr. Mingus. Behold! The instrument of our unity and salvation! Soon, our dreams of peace and safety will be realized. They already call him Kukulkan, but his real name is Amaru. He was born here, but raised, lied to, by outsiders. The people believe in him. But you don't. My late husband, Saidi, was his brother. They had differences over the future of Paititi. When Saidi died, Amaru devoted himself to the cult. You have seen the storm. You are worried about worse to come. I ensure you that Paititi will persevere and thrive forever. I know him well. If Amaru is successful, all of us who disagree will never see this paradise. The rebels will be discarded. Not if they don't find the box. Yes. Our best hope is to find it first. Perhaps Amaru might still be brought to see love and reason. Death to the outsiders! Retribution will come! Hakan! Enough! We must strike while the snake is within reach. Justice will be met in good time. Do not jeopardize our rebellion for the sake of impulse. <laughs> Edsley, go scout ahead. We'll meet you at the edge of the mountain. Last warning. Follow Esley. 
Your clothing won't hide you long from these guards. Okay, I'll find the box. You've been warned to keep the peace. I was just out for a pleasant stroll with my son. <laughs> Amar is losing his patience. It won't happen again. Jonah, can you answer? Yeah, me and Uchu set up camp. Everything's okay. Dominguez is here. He's the leader of the cult of Kukul Khan. That's what Unaratu's rebels are fighting. What? He's been here for years. Trinity controls Paititi. Whoa. I'm going to the Eye of the Serpent. We have to get the box before the next cataclysm hits. Enough space for that. Oh. All full up. Can't carry any more. Unurato and her rebels are the true sons and daughters of Baititi, if you're asking. I'm not the only one who thinks it either. Just the only one with the guts to say it, apparently. The cleansing is upon us. And it should be Unuratu's line that sacrifices Kukulkan to restore the sun, and not the other way around. But thoughts like that have a way of getting people dead. So it's no wonder they aren't voiced. Where is my mother? She's settling matters between the guards and Hakan. What's it like? Outside by Didi? Well, a lot of things. It's a very big world. Bigger than Paititi? <laughs> Bigger than 100 Paititis. What? Will you take me there? I think your mother might have something to say about that. Hmm. What you're looking for is in there. How will I know when I found the right chamber? By the smell of death. If you survive, you can find your way back through the old irrigation system. I'll meet you there. Be careful. The cult often patrols there. This is a formidable weapon. Heavy wood lined with sharp obsidian teeth. It could easily stop an unarmored enemy. And if the blood stains are any indication, it has. All right. Oh, 
all full up. Can't carry any more. All full up. Can't carry any more. I don't think anything could have prepared me for this place. The people, their history, everything they've lived and who they are today. To hear him tell it, Amaru, Dominguez, Kukul Khan, only wants to keep Paititi safe. But I've seen the lengths he'll go to, the murder and cruelty. I have to stop him. I don't have enough space for that. Through there. Having not heard from Lopez, some among the leadership began to have their doubts about him. Our group dispatched south to investigate. We sent the natives in first, uncertain those in the city had not killed Lopez on his arrival. They returned with reports of how sick the city was, and we quickly formed a plan to utilize this to our advantage. <clears throat> this seems to represent Unuratu leading a group in rebellion. There is a near total eclipse in the background. Smell. This must be the place Etsley mentioned. Steady, Laura, steady. I'm going to 
gonna be sick. You can do this. I have no choice. Is this one of the rebels? A serpent with a silver eye. I'm on track. Yes! Are you there? Ugh, the smell keeps getting stronger. Laura, how's it going? I found another serpent with a silver eye. I must be getting close. You? I'm talking tattoos with Uchu. <laughs> tattoos? Yeah, you saw Unuratu's ring. It has a heron and an eclipse on it. That might have something to do with the silver box. I don't think so. Unuratu is the rightful queen of Paititi. After a famine that nearly wiped out the city, her family was ousted from power by the cult of Kukulkan. Her husband, Sairi, died hunting for food on the outskirts of Paititi. Amaru, or Dr. Dominguez, Sairi's brother, felt responsible and took control of the city, using resources from Trinity to feed the Paititians until the famine passed. Even though Amaru saved the city, the cult, in his absence, now rules with arrogance and fear. Unoratu and her rebels are fighting to free the city from the cult of Kukulkan and restore its ancient bloodline. Unaratu was raised to believe it was her family's legacy, 
to complete the ritual of the silver box of Ishel and restore the sun for another age. Looks like this is the only way, okay? We need to destroy this barrier somehow. I can use that lever to fill this pool. The lone figure appears in a state of peace, as though waiting for something. I can use that lever to fill this pool. I can use that lever to fill this pool. I can use that lever to fill this pool. I can use that lever to fill this pool. <laughs> Full of oil and blood. That puddle could be flammable. Is this some kind of bloodletting chamber? I'll have to align the tra- Damn, it's flowing to the wrong place. I'll have to align the channels to fill the pool in front of the gate. I'll need to tether these two pillars together. Damn, it's flowing to the wrong place. I'll have to align the channels to fill the pool in front of the gate. <laughs> Must have taken hundreds of sacrifices to get enough blood to fill these channels. Damn, it's flowing to the wrong place. I'll have to align the channels to fill the pool in front of the gate.
Damn, it's flowing to the wrong place. I'll have to align the channels to fill the pool in front of the gate. Damn, it's flowing to the wrong place. I'll have to align the channels to fill the pool in front of the gate.